thunder is still rolling. If it hits that wall, it'll cause a rock slide. Uh, it's too heavy. Even for a rancher as tough as me. Uh, help! Uh, why did you let Tango charge the boulder, Miguel? Because we needed to move it. But we were still on it. You should say sorry, Miguel. He could have been hurt. Me? You should say sorry, man. You made a T-Rex chase us. Uh, uh, I didn't I'm not do so it. sorry. It wasn't planned either, either did Tang. For a room. Uh, Caused a rock slide, and now Roo can't reach her herd. This, this is, is your fault. <gasps> it's, it's not my fault. fault. It's, it's your fault. fault. Hmm. <laughs> Look, Tango said sorry to Aru, and Aru forgave her. <laughs> Instead of being upset with each other, they're working together. We've been real grumpy gusses with each other today. That's why we're not getting along. That's no way for dino ranchers to act. I'm sorry, Miguel. If I hadn't rushed you into a race, you wouldn't have lost the map. And I'm sorry I took the apples. It's my fault that T-Rex chased us. I'm sorry, too. I should have been more careful before I moved that boulder. <sighs> yeah, I like us much better when we get along. We owe you an apology most of all. It wasn't a boulder that caused this rock slide. It was our silly arguing. We're sorry, Aru. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ranchers. It's not too late to work together. Let's get along and get it going. Yeah! Sometimes it's hard to admit you've made a mistake. But today, the dino ranchers learned that not saying they're sorry can only make things worse. a little late, but no harm done. Now we can finish our Rancho Palooza fun. Ah! What is it, Clover? Nita, look! These are Angus's tracks. Oh no, Angus must have run off to look for food. I have to stop him. And we'll help you. Count us in too. Dino Ranchers, ride! Up, up, and away! <laughs> oh no, Angus is heading for trouble. Hi, yo, Wilbur! Men, I found Angus. He's about to butt heads with a very mean-looking Spinosaur. Oh no, we have to stop them. Let's go! Vamanos! <laughs> it's Thunderfoot. We need to stop this before one of them gets hurt. <laughs> and we need to do it fast. This is all my fault. If I had just done my chores on time, none of this would have happened. That's all in the past, Min. Now we need to figure out how to stop these big, hungry old dinosaurs. Hmm, hungry. I know. If both of them are hungry, Tara and I can use the tree blossoms to lure Thunderfoot away. 
Then while he's distracted, Miguel and John can get Angus out of there. Great plan, Min. Let's giddy up and go, go, go! Hi, yo, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! Okay, let's scoop up some blossoms. Yeehaw! We've got a whole hat full of tasty treats. Now comes the tricky part. Lunchtime! Come and get it! <laughs> When their chores are done, there's nothing that dino ranchers enjoy more than a game of Bronto Ball. <gasps> but sometimes, things can take an unexpected turn. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> it's a Spinosaurus! Run, Dango! Biscuit? Protecting Miguel and Tango. Biscuit's bad side. Are you two okay, Miguel? I... I think so. I've never been caught between a T-Rex and a Spinosaurus before. I don't ever want to do that again. John! We're open! Pass the ball! One Velocowack pass coming up! When their chores are done, there's nothing that dino ranchers enjoy more than a game of Bronto Ball. <laughs> but sometimes, things can take an unexpected turn. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> it's a Spinosaurus! Run, Dango! Biscuit? Protecting Miguel and Tango! Biscuit's bad side. Are you two okay, Miguel? I... I think so. I've never been caught between a T-Rex and a Spinosaurus before. I don't ever want to do that again. Where's Tara? <laughs> there she is! <laughs> lesson. With a little practice, y'all will be flying sky high just like Wilbur and I. Yeah! And when you're ready, you can give your dinosaurs a ride through the sky on board our dino porter. Just remember, Tara, after you're done teaching these land lovers, you need to take the dino porter to deliver all this food to Dinorado. I will, Dad. But for now, it's time to take your first practice flight. Watch me, ranchers. Just hold Wilbur's reins tight, sit light, and... Hi-yo, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! Wilbur will fly y'all around the control tower. And all you have to do is hang on and enjoy the ride. Right. 
Who's first? Oh. <laughs> Clover says I'm going first. Okay. Reins tight, sit light, and what is it you say again? Oh, yeah. Hi, all Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! <laughs> that was mighty fine flying, Min. Who's next? Oh, oh, me next, please. I've always loved flying. I've read everything about flying. This should be a piece of cake! Whoa! Oh, this is not like reading! <laughs> it's just as much fun, though! Yeah! Woo-hoo! Yeah! That was Triceratastic! Where's Tara? There she is! <laughs> Dino Ranchers, welcome to your first flying lesson. With a little practice, y'all will be flying sky high just like Wilbur and I. Yeah! And when you're ready, you can give your dinosaurs a ride through the sky on board our Dino Porter. Just remember, Tara, after you're done teaching these land lovers, you need to take the Dino Porter to deliver all this food to Dinorado. I will, Dad. But for now, it's time to take your first practice flight. Watch me, ranchers. Just hold Wilbur's reins tight, sit light, and... hi yo, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! Wilbur will fly y'all around the control tower. And all you have to do is hang on and enjoy the ride. Who's first? Oh. <laughs> Clover says I'm going first. Okay, reins tight, sit light, and what is it you say again? Oh, yeah. Hi, oh, Wilbur! Giddy up, up, and away! Next. Oh, oh, me next, please. I've always loved flying. I've read everything about flying. This should be a piece of cake. Oh, oh, oh. 